Hey, what's going on everybody? In this video, I'm gonna review a book uh, that Pact graciously sent me called Machine Learning with PyTorch and Scikit-Learn. The uh, subtitle promises it'll help you develop machine learning and deep learning models with Python. And uh, after taking a hard look at this thing, I concur. If you are a non-machine learning expert uh, like me, uh, then this review is really from your perspective. I come from a different background. I'm obviously like Linux, SRE, DevOps, um, software engineering type stuff, but not a mathematician by any stretch of the imagination. And uh, I've, although I've used some machine learning tools in the past and read some machine learning books, I'm not an expert, I'm what I would call a beginner. So if that matches your background, then this review is kind of gonna come from your perspective. So if you've never considered machine learning as of, uh, you know, I don't know, 10 years ago-ish, realistically, like five or six, it is a legitimate uh, career path for even non-mathematicians uh, or statisticians to, to go into. Uh, if you like math and you like programming, um, it kind of like modern machine learning, there are, I just checked on Indeed, and with really just a cursory search of machine learning in Python, I saw like 43,000 job openings. Um, it's no joke, like this industry, um, like ML is getting good enough, uh, reliable enough for certain things that um, th the applications are enormous. Uh, it's being applied to just about everything. So if you can think of something, there's a company trying to apply like ML techniques uh, to that problem space to see if they can get anywhere. Let's talk about this book specifically. Again, I'm not trying to play the expert. The ML expert here is telling you this is absolutely the best book. Um, the last ML book I read was uh, like statistical learning methods one. Uh, <laughs> Maybe <laughs> eight years ago. It's uh, uh, either Green Tea Press or O'Reilly or one of those. Anyway, the way I'm approaching this is as an interested beginner. If I kind of like from the perspective of I have some basic programming chops, I have an interest in math and statistics and ML, can I get something out of this book? I think it's a really comprehensive and interesting book written by, from what I gather, are real experts in the field and specifically the uh, maintainer of PyTorch like fully endorses this. So like I trust that the PyTorch code is, has been vetted and is gonna work. Not just the stuff I tried from some of the early chapters. Here's what really stood out to me. Um, I worked through chapter three because it's the first one that kind of applies um, this, uh, this kind of workflow, this ML like testing, like figuring it out uh, workflow that they kind of apply to a problem when they apply ML. Um, and it kind of takes you through the process um, once. What's amazing is that even really mostly jumping in at chapter three and only skimming chapters one and two, I was able to uh, kind of pick up right where the book uh, needed me to. And um, they explain concepts as you need them. And they explain them very well, including using um, mathematical notation, uh, because that is often the most succinct and accurate way to describe something. But also they lean heavily on uh, really good technical drawings. So like um, flow charts, or uh, just diagrams that explain a concept. I can't overstate how <laughs> important that is. I have, there's like lots of books that don't do that. Um, like CLRS for algorithms is one of them where there's like fewer diagrams that I would like. And even if you have a very succinct piece of code that uh, sort of implements something, uh, it can often be just much harder to understand because you don't have the shape of it. If you're a visual thinker at all, just seeing the shape of something of either like a flow diagram for some kind of process or a diagram of like how, how a problem is kind of laid out and how you might think about solving it can go so far to making all the code afterwards much more readable. And that is absolutely true of this book. Um, it is filled with useful diagrams. It's also filled with um, what were to me very interesting and enlightening explanations. I assume to a seasoned ML pro <laughs> professional, they're like kind of basic, but like, hey, that's where I'm at. I really appreciate that. I think it's a, a pretty good pedagogical style Overall, I, th I get the impression that this is an incredibly good mix of academic, like rigorous in that sense, but not dry, and also incredibly practical because it has this, uh, this like real integration with PyTorch, um, NumPy, like all the, all the libraries you're likely to run into if you're starting out in uh, machine learning, like as a field and in Python specifically. This is gonna get you familiar with all those things and familiar with some of the functions you have available to you. Uh, and I think most of all, they harp on this process of actually developing ML solutions, which is, is I think, like regardless of what you're building, whether it's a recommender or something else, it's like, 
that process is what they're teaching you and they're teaching it to you in a practical way where you've already applied it so that I think, again, haven't read all 700 pages, I'm not an ML expert, but I think you can go out and apply some of this stuff immediately just by like modeling your next problem on what you've learned. Like you have this bevy of algorithms and approaches to choose from that they kind of give you an overview of. They've taught you the process of like going out, picking a model that's that's likely to maybe be a good approach to the problem, testing that model, not overfitting, all, all these like things that you would have to do in real life uh, that maybe don't get taught in these super academic things where like the professor unbeknownst to you has picked the perfect algorithm to solve like this thing and then given you the right parameters to tweak it with and like, oh, it works. There's a limited amount that you can kind of learn with that. This gives you, I think that, that more gritty real life um, process that's important more than like the right answer for a given a given problem or the right approach so um, if you are an ml expert i would love in the comments your um, impressions of this book if you have it all right well for those of you who might be considering or open to a machine learning path in your career uh, i hope this is um, something useful to you uh, i hope you check this out look at the table of contents and uh, if you decide to buy it use the link below uh, in the description. And uh, thanks again to Pact for sending me this. Um, I suspect that even after I make this review, I'm going to be poking around in here um, to try to, to try to build something. And if I do, I'll make a video about that. Thanks again, everybody. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.